Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, the past month has seen young creatives receive recognition for their art and hard work. So, we're to born artist Ria Magadlela was recently awarded the 2015 F&B Art Prize, which you see a receiver cash prize of 100,000 rands, as well as the opportunity to showcase her work in a dedicated space at the F&B Joburg Art Fair. Well, we also saw a young lensman, Masik Olefeni, walk away with the 2015 Ernest uh, Cole Award for his project, A Drain on Our Dignity and activist photographer Feni, who also works for Group Up and uh, Soweto-born artist uh, Turia Makalela, uh, join us now to tell us more about their awards. Let's start here in Johannesburg. Turia, good morning. Welcome to Winning Live. Good morning. I mean, what does this F&B uh, prize mean to you? It just means so much for not just me, but for my family mm -hmm. and the people who've been making art long before me, especially South African black women. Mm -hmm. Matkole, uh, let's bring you into this uh, conversation. I mean, it's the Ernest Cole Award. Uh, what does it mean to you and wh what does it say about your work as a young photographer? Um, well, to me, it means that I have a big responsibility since I got the recognition to, to win the award and it's going to help me to continue with the project and also to go to other big, big townships and look for more issues on sanitation and at the end it's going to allow me to to create a, a book and also an exhibition mm. about my work. Talk to us about this project, A Drain on Our Dignity. What is it about? Um, the, the project is mainly about poor service delivery, about issues that affects the communities, especially with the sanitation and lack of water. So I actually started with the project since I has been a freelance photographer at the independent newspaper. So I would always check on the first front page and I would notice this protest on service delivery. Mm -hmm. And I realized to me that the news always report about people and communities and people's needs. So I realized that if I could put my focus to, to, to the struggle I experience every day and, and to my community, it would be a great deal that I could focus on that mm -hmm. because it's uh, number one priority for, for human dignity. Mm. Turiya, I mean, your, your award was earned on your project Imi Huzugo. Talk to us about that. It's Imi Huzugo. Imi Huzugo. Like we are Huzugo. Yeah. So it's exactly about that. If you know the word Imi Huzuga, mm. or Huzuga, mm. to fall and mm. to graze yourself and mm. to graze your skin, you are hurt, but you can move on after mm. the hurt. So it's basically got to do with all the different pains and the different physical and, 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 and mental and spiritual sufferings that we go through on a daily mm. basis. What do you think they saw in your project, though, that earned you this award? I, I'm not sure how many... Uh, art makers in South Africa make uh, minimal work, mm. make abstract work or make um, work that is almost like uh, in, in the same format that I make work. Mm. So I think it was um, very visual. They, 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 it was a very big visual impact. But I think it was also that um, there is a lot that needs to be said in my work that mm -hmm. um, we needed to hear now, and I felt that um, they felt I would represent them. Mm -hmm. I mean, what attracted you to yes. photography, and who gave you the constant assurance that you're very good at this? Well, it all started back when I was at the orphanage home. Uh, it's called Sakumzi in Mfuleni. Um, a group of uh, photographers led by the late God's dad, um, they went there and opened a photography society and the group was called the Icon Image. And from there they would give us like small mechanic uh, point and shoot cameras to document our environments. And from time to time on weekends they would come and critique our work and from there on we would assist, we would go with them on on their private jobs and take the same pictures they would be taking and from there they, from there on they would like critique us on how to improve our images and and so I later in my in my in my teens I 
I went to go join the independent newspaper and that's where I got like more insight as to what is photography and how how much photography can mean to mm. to communities because we we talk about people's issues. Yeah. Uh, Terea, for you, I mean, what, what space were you in when you produced uh, Imuhuzugo? And what were you trying to say? What are you trying to say to a person that's seeing this uh, exhibition? I'm always in an artistic space. Yeah. It, it's not when I just created Imuhuzugo. Mm. I, um, I make art in my mind first and then I make art uh, physically. And it's always about what uh, I see or what I feel. Mm. And then I'm hoping the viewer takes out from the work what they feel so it's not me dictating that I feel this way or this is what I want to show you I want you to look at it and feel whatever you want to feel so it's it's, it's got nothing to do with me at the end yeah. of the day let's talk about you know I asked my scholar the same question about who gave you constant assurance that you are on the right path and art is what you should be embarking on oh, so many people yeah. have have been um, have had my back basically. Mm. Uh, friends in the township, uh, my gallerist, my family, my parents. It, you know, <laughs> just so many people. Even the lame person sitting next to me in a taxi or, you know, it's just a lot of people. You, I can't just pinpoint one yeah. person and say, this person has given me a reassurance. But it's basically the whole, the, my whole context, the whole people, all the people I come in contact with and uh, musicians, a whole lot of people making art and making a difference have made me feel that maybe I can do something. And you're a product of Funda Center, eh? Not only Funda Center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to NSA, I went to Funda Center, I mm. went to the Rakes Academy, I went to Vets Tech mm. as well. And all those people somehow have contributed to the completion that is Turia. Um, what do you think, having uh, spoken and interacted with those people, shaped the artists that you are today? It's different. It's very contrasting spaces. Funda Center, very contrasted to what the Rakes Academy would be or what um, Vets Tech would be or what National School of Arts has been. And I've always bounced back. So I've either been here or there. Mm -hmm. So it's basically been um, in, in, in a Western world and in um, township world. Yeah. So I've lived between those two spaces and I'm basically always trying to communicate one space with another so that I can bring a bridge to those two spaces mm -hmm. and my work can be accepted by both spaces. Mastole, um, what has been the highlight for you of embarking on, on this journey of photography? Um, the highlight for me has been that I had the opportunity to, 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 to make use of, of, the, of the images uh, I've, I've been doing and to take them up on, an, on another level as opposed to as just to print them in a newspaper and, and tomorrow they all disappear because if they're going to be in a book, to me it means that I have the legacy of Ernest Cole because I'm actually documenting yes. the current issues that is affecting the community and to me it's, it's a great honor and a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. So the highlight for me is just that I have to make sure I, I, I carry that legacy and yeah, make it work. But there's something about service delivery that's very close to your heart. What is it? What is it about the subject that you know makes you want to highlight it so much? Well, the for my understanding, service delivery has been an issue like since like way back in the apartheid era and twenty years later down the line, it is still an issue that is not yet being addressed. And for me, um, I've, I've had like f first-hand experience about poor service delivery mm -hmm. uh, because for the, f for the fact that I'm from the township, I, I rent a space on an, at an R RDP house and I experienced the same as the people I've been pointing the camera to. So I decided to point the camera to myself and to my community. So I feel that I have an intimate, like, yeah, 
uh, discussion with, with the service delivery. All right. Yeah. Congratulations again. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Olefeni from my Cape Town studios. He's a, a young creative. He's won the Ernest uh, Cole Award winner for 2015. In Johannesburg is Turiya Makazela, who is the 2015 Art Prize winner. Thank you so much for joining Thank us this you. morning. Uh, they're you. talking to us. Uh, they spoke to us, rather, about their awards and what photography and art in general means to them. Let's take another break. Stay with us. Thank you.